Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and this evening we're going to have a look at the storm risk over the next few days as we have low pressure sweeping through and you can already see some thunderstorms are starting to form on the uh, within the British Isles. There are multiple yellow warnings uh, for the next few days and we're going to be running through those um, in a minute's time. So do remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you do like and subscribe and do remember to follow me on Twitter as well, links in the description. So if we do look at the latest radar, you can see in the initial weather fronts um, associated with this area of low pressure, which is sitting just to the west of Ireland, you can see it's spreading eastwards at the moment, bringing patchy but quite heavy rain at times, spreading eastwards, We've got bands of rain spreading through um, all the way from sort of southern Scotland, all the way through northern England, down into the southeast behind that uh, weather front. We do open up into clearer skies. But within those clearer skies, we're seeing big shower clouds and thunderstorms start to, start to take off. Now, the main thunderstorm risk at the moment is in Ireland. And tomorrow, it's going to be transferring over towards northern England, north Wales, into southern and central Scotland as well, where we could be seeing some big, big storms around. Not only um, big storms, but also some very heavy rain. Because as you can see at the moment across Ireland, there are these storm cells developing. But around the storm cells, we still have a lot of heavy rain um, which will provide some flooding risks as they sweep in from the west. So at the moment, we do have a yellow warning for thunderstorms in Northern Ireland. And you can see these storms right here across um, the Republic are moving northwards, northeastwards, and will be spreading into Northern Ireland over the coming hours. Many areas across Ireland at the moment are seeing on and off heavy rain, and there are thunderstorm cells starting to break out. Um, which could start to bring some disruption in areas. We also can see there's a line of thunderstorms across southern Wales, down heading into the Bristol area. And again, a lot of these scenarios are going to come off over the next few days where we see a lot of these pop-up storms form in lines, spreading eastwards and northwards as well. So really need to keep an eye out for these storms over the next few days. You can already see the significant storms are starting to take off even more tomorrow and even, uh, even some still into Saturday. So if we do, do have a look at the weather warnings, you can see at the moment we do have a yellow warning in force for Northern Ireland. It expires in about four hours time uh, um, from the time I'm recording this at 10 p.m. Heavy, slow moving thunderstorms will give a risk of flooding and travel disruption. You can see persistent rain in the morning, which is those weather fronts that are now across Scotland uh, and England. After that, scattered heavy and thundery showers will break out, 10 to 20 millimetres an hour, 30 to 40 millimetres in three to four hours, with a few locations seeing potentially 40 or 50 millimetres across the whole afternoon. They will continue the evening and will ease in intensity. So this hasn't been up upgraded or changed since yesterday, but you can see by that radar we were looking at it a minute ago, those storms are really starting to come off now and they're going to start filling up Northern Ireland over the coming hours before dying slowly dying out across this evening the friday thunderstorm warning has been updated and you can see again it covers northern ireland northern wales northern england all the way up to southern scotland and then we have a yellow warning in east um eastern scotland and sort of aberdeenshire primarily for rain um as it doesn't look like there's going to be too much cape there and it does look like it's going to be dragging in a lot of rain off the north sea so if we do firstly have a look at the thunderstorm warning which um has been updated once again today. Warning extended northwards with heavy showers now expected more widely over Scotland. So updated by the uh, upgraded by the Met Office, and trimmed northwards away from parts of Wales and the Midlands where impactful showers now look less likely. So just trimmed a little bit off from the southern edge. Still can be some significant storms, as I said. Just that it just looks less likely, um, and it does look like storm risk has shifted a little bit further northwards, but still. Anywhere tomorrow, it could see some heavy showers and storms. If we do have a look at the further details, um, again, 20, 30 millimetres in a short pace of time, potentially 80 to 100 millimetres, so high impact, low likelihood. Once those storms do form around tomorrow mid-morning into the early afternoon, that is when, if they start to band together, we could see amber warnings put in force um, in localised areas. Because at the moment, if we, when we do have a look at the precipitation uh, charts, you can see... It's very, very uncertain exactly where the lines of storms are going to band up. But where they do band up um, within this yellow warning zone, that's where we're going to be seeing the biggest rainfall totals. And it's likely that we do see potentially a snap 
amber warning put in force if we do see some storms taking off and stagnating into a line, um, dumping a lot of rain in a short space of time. If you have a look at the yellow warning, persistent heavy rain may cause local flooding and some travel disruption from midnight tonight all the way to 2 p.m. tomorrow. Rain will turn persistent, occasionally heavy, through the early hours of Friday. Accompanied by strengthly southeasterly winds, 4 to 60 millimetres are expected. And this rain is ahead of those storms, sort of as those weather fronts sort of linger just out into the North Sea, spreading in rain into Aberdeenshire. So very likely and low impact at this stage. As 46 millimetres isn't unprecedented in Scotland, um, but we've had quite a lot of rain over the last um, couple of weeks. And we did have that amber warning for thunderstorms across, um, well, into this sort of area last week. So there's a lot of rain still within the soil, so there could still be some disruption around. And I suspect that's why the yellow warning's put, been put in force. On Saturday, the thunderstorm warning is moved a little bit once again. We do have a Northern Ireland warning that expires um, where it's from 4 a.m. to uh, midnight. Um, again, a high impact, low likelihood again, 20 to 30 millimetres in quite a few areas in a short space of time, then 50 to 70 millimetres. And then we have a large thunderstorm warning that has been put in force. Um, that has been put in force from again 4 a.m. to uh, midnight again 20 to 30 millimeters 50 to 70 millimeters building up so pretty much the same warning um, but it's covering parts of northern Scotland eastern Scotland and its southern edge has been just been uh, lifted a little bit up from Midlands and some areas of the northeast but still showing southern Wales northern England northwest England all the way through most of Scotland so Big thunderstorms coming for both Friday and Saturday. Now, some in the south will be thinking, oh, um, no thunderstorms for me. But there is still the chance. It's just less likely. As we look at the charts in a minute, you can still see there will be plenty of heavy showers around. And the odd thunderstorm, just not as likely. Um, it's just not as likely as in the north or in Scotland, where we could see lines of storms breaking out. So just want to give that caveat. If you are not in a warning zone, does not mean that you are guaranteed not to see a storm. There is likely going to be some significant storms outside of the yellow warning zone that we will have to keep an eye on, of course. Um, and there's no guarantee you being inside the yellow zone that you're going to be seeing any significant thunderstorms. As ever, with thunderstorms, they are convection-based, so it's very difficult to say exactly where they're going to form. It's just all done by likelihood. So we do now run through the Cape chart. So we're looking at the uh, six o'clock run from the WRF. And you can see across this afternoon, Cape's mainly over Ireland. And that's why we've seen those odd thunderstorms break out there. And you can see, again, that thunderstorm breaking out across Bristol into South Wales because we've got a bit of Cape there. This Cape is going to increase over the coming days. And you can see... By this evening, potentially a bit of Cape in the central areas across England. So again, maybe a few storms breaking out there in a few, or at least a bit of heavier rain potentially. And then, as we head through into Friday, because initially Cape isn't too high, but it really breaks out, especially in that central sort of area of the yellow warning across southern Scotland into North East England, down in East Anglia as well. So it could be some storms out in East Anglia, even though it's not in the yellow warning zone. Elsewhere, still a lot of heavy showers, just less likely um, to be thunderstorms. And through the afternoon, that cape really stays across southern Scotland, and that's where we could see the severest storms break out for a period of time. Now, of course, cape doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get storms, and it doesn't mean you're not going to get storms, but it's just a good indicator of where the big energy is to create these storms. As we head through Friday evening, the Cape eventually sort of dissipates over the course of the day. And then through Saturday, it does look like Cape reintroduces itself, especially further southwards and eastwards. So I suspect we could see a yellow warning put in force for that. But evidently, the storm risk is further northwards because of other factors. As I said, Cape is not the only thing creating storms. So if we do see showers starting to pop off in the southeast with a lot of Cape around, there is potential for them to be heavy and thundery. But of course... Still decent cape in the north across sort of Scotland, and that's where we've got more uh, more uh, lift, and we could be seeing um, those storms um, pop off again. But as I said, Saturday we could be seeing storms really anywhere, any anywhere outside the yellow warning zone could see storms, and some areas in the yellow warning zone will not see storms. It's just how this these sort of scenarios do play out. But beyond that, as we head into Sunday, cape does start to dissipate throughout Sunday, and it does look like things are looking a little bit drier for Sunday. If we do have a look at the 
Raw precipitation charge, you can see the heavy rain over the next few hours spreading in from the west. And you can see over the course of Friday, uh, for Friday morning, we see still showers in northern England, um, and then those heavy rain moving into Aberdeenshire, so we've got that yellow warning in force, and then storms really starting to take off through Friday afternoon, especially in the yellow warning zone across northern England, into southern Scotland, and as, as I said, across southern England, Wales as well, still showers around, just not quite the intensity and frequency we can see in that yellow warning, and then more storms across northern Ireland as well. They will start to dissipate over course Friday evening into Saturday morning, still will be showers around, but just not likely to be thunderstorms. And then through Saturday morning, things start to take off once again. We do see potentially a few showers and storms in the southeast, but those do start to fade away through the afternoon. But again, more big storms across northern Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England that we'll have to really keep an eye on and how they do develop. And of course, by Sunday, still showers and maybe the odd storm around, but things looking a lot quieter. If we now have a look at the raw precipitation from the ICON model. So you can see we do have across the evening thunderstorms and showers breaking off. Bit of a muddled picture as, all, as ever with, uh, an unset uh, with an unsettled pattern with low pressure. A lot of rain bads, a lot of storms taking off. Things looking a little bit drier through uh, uh, Thursday night to Friday. And then more storms breaking off across Northern Ireland, into Scotland, North East England again as well. So looking like there could be a lot of rain around and storms of course across southern england there still could be some showers around but less likely to be big storms and we'll just have to keep an eye on how it does develop across the whole country as we head into saturday you can see by saturday afternoon potential for some significant storms of the southeast as we saw that's where there is some cape um and we could see a few significant storms break out there, but again, it does look like uh, the biggest cape and the biggest lift is probably more out into the Euro into uh, the continent. So that's where we likely see more storms break off. But of course, northern Scotland, northern Ireland, down into southern Scotland and northern England, that's where the biggest storm's going to be, even into Saturday. As we head through Sunday, you can see still a lot of showers around and potentially some more storms across northern Scotland. A bit more storm activity there than we saw in the WRF. Um, but things will slowly die out with westerly winds t um, controlling the weather. Um, still dragging in a few showers, of course, but not quite as ex excited. Um, and we do see by Tuesday, things are looking a little bit drier. Um, with still, of course, showers around, but not too many storms. If we do have a look at the precipitation accumulations by 120 hours, you can see in that yellow warning for storms, could see 50 60 millimeters across northern ireland that's two inches maybe a little bit more and then across northern england and southern scotland maybe 100 millimeters which we saw in the weather warnings um we could be seeing potentially up to 100 millimeters localized areas which is four inches which would give disruption and potentially some surface flooding further southwards anything really from maybe five or ten millimeters up to maybe 20 or 25 millimeters which is one thunderstorm's worth or at least a few showers worth of rain so still showers and thunderstorms in the south just not quite as widespread and high in intensity if we have a look at the uk met office run again this is the primary use uh, prim primary run for uh, the uk met office weather warnings of course it's their model so they will prize it so if we do run through thursday by this evening, you can see that weather band spreading eastwards, and you can see those heavy showers breaking out more widespread in reality than actually showing them the UK Met Office run. So we do need to keep that into consideration, that showers tomorrow might be more widespread than they're being shown on this UK Met Office run. So by tonight, there still are going to be frequent showers around. I doubt there'll be too much electricity around, um, but still, there could be some lightning activity um, even in the night, looking by, by, by the looks of this um, chart with quite some, still some very heavy storms around. By Friday morning into the early afternoon, we see those big storms taking off across northern England, northern Ireland, into Scotland as well. And, and again, in southern England, East Anglia, still uh, dotted, sort of isolated storms and showers around, coming in on, a, on a quite a brisk westerly wind. Beyond that, into through Friday evening, still showers persist, but things slowly uh, drying out a little bit overnight. Potentially seeing a band of rain move across Ireland into uh, Wales, Northern England, potentially um, heading through, and then more showers breaking out through Saturday. Again, pretty widespread, and again, 
prime positions northern ireland scotland and northern england so looking pretty severe for these for this storm risk a lot of rain around and by sunday still a lot of showers around potentially not as uh, intense and not banding up as much as you can see these showers look a little bit smaller um but still quite frequent showers around especially in the north further south would still be odd shower but just not nothing um not too much and by monday Things still showery, but dying down a little bit. And then by Tuesday, it does look like showers will be dying down significantly. Odd showers still around, of course, but nowhere near as much as we're seeing through Friday and Saturday. If you finally just keep up to date with the longer term outlook, if we do have a look at the GFS ensembles, you can see again over the next four or five days, very unsettled and reasonably cool with a couple of degrees below average. As we head to around 10th, 11th of August, so Tuesday, Wednesday next week, you see temperatures rise to around average to maybe just above average with a lot of scatter on the, on, on the ensembles really not too much certainty after after about six or seven days that warm spell we're looking at in the middle third of august it's difficult to say whether it will come off you can, at the moment if it's going to be at least hot so you can see it's actually going to be pretty dry there are going to be limited showers around especially in the south which is a lot closer to uh, high pressure over europe um, but in the longer term, it's very difficult to say exactly what's going to come off. Still a lot. Still a lot of scatter around on the ensemble charts and a few precipitation spikes, which is looking very uncertain in the longer stage. We'll just have to keep updating this every day and see if the models start to resolve um, the patterns we're going to be seeing. So anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you stay safe if you are in those thunderstorm warnings and if you do get caught up in some showers, make sure you do keep weather aware. Um, so, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.